here. I can't wait to hit the beach with all this unresolved PTSD. I don't remember who I once was. <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo. I can't wait to boogie board and cry uncontrollably. Heck yeah, who wants to play some volleyball and drink the pain away? We've been through a lot and people are going to start acting out in strange ways. People tried to hijack two different airplanes last week. As if the airport isn't stressful enough. I gotta travel to where the aliens live and I gotta watch out for hijackers and a bottle of water's five dollars. What kind of expensive haunted house is this? There's a lot going on. Yesterday, I couldn't find a hair tie and I started breaking down. I needed the hair tie so I can fix my hair. Then I eat breakfast. Then I go to work. There is a set schedule. Everything must be clean and orderly. I just need the hair tie. But it's not about the hair tie. It's about my need to control through a year and a half of chaos. If I let my guard down, I will die. And I have really long hair. It kind of gets in everything. Acting out from PTSD is normal, and we're probably all going to do it. We're all going to have our hair tie moments. I tried to offer solutions like, what if we had a national game and we played and picked people and they competed? And my friend was like, you mean like Running Man? That scary future movie where people die on TV? I mean, I was thinking of a balloon toss, but yes, I guess that's a bad idea. The thing is, we're all a ball of anxiety rolling towards an unknown destination. Sacks of conflicting energy covered in human skin. An island of bones floating through space, facing the big questions like, why am I here? What happened last year? And where's my hair tie? In other words, it's about to get wild. Okay, see you next week.